Between childhood and adulthood, our hormones kickstart a phase of significant change. And while the physical changes of adolescence may be obvious, less visible are changes that these hormones trigger in our brains, which might just be responsible for turning our teenage years into a bit of a roller coaster. Throughout our lives, our brains undergo a process called neural pruning. The synapses, through which our neurons communicate, are either lost or strengthened, depending on how much we use them. Well-used synapses grow strong, while the weaker ones fade away. It's this process that makes us capable of faster, clearer and more complex thought as we grow up. But, crucially, pruning happens at different rates in different areas of the brain. By the time we're adolescents, the neural networks that communicate emotion, risk and reward are well developed, while others, which may help us to plan, prioritise, think logically and moderate our social behaviour, are yet to mature. So, a potential mismatch between our emotion and our judgement arises just as our emotional and social worlds are becoming more complex, making an increase in social anxiety quite normal at this time. Researchers at the University of Oxford want to know how this might affect our behaviour as we progress through our teenage years. In a recent study, they focused on the social worries many of us feel as adolescents. When presented with photographs of ambiguous social scenes and asked to imagine themselves in the picture, anxious younger teens were more likely than others to perceive negativity. But, while these heightened emotions and the struggle to control them can make adolescence a difficult time for some, it's also a golden time for learning and growth. The adolescent brain is particularly agile and flexible, and as such, it's especially open to new opportunities, new technologies and new experiences. So while our teenage years may feel pretty weird, they're also pretty wonderful. To explore how your brain develops, visit www.oxfordsparks.ox.ac.uk and tell us what you think on our Facebook and Twitter.